Hey everyone, Dennis Kay here with Belize Islands Real Estate. Hope you all are doing well today. Uh, hey, listen, I got an email a few days ago from a client who said, what one piece, it was a question, he said, what one piece of advice would you give to someone looking to move to Belize? And I thought about it for a little while and I said to him, I said, you know what? Just be open to new experiences and don't come down to Belize and try to start a new chapter of your life carrying all the same baggage and problems and issues and stuff that you are trying to leave behind or rather you should leave behind uh, when you start a new chapter in your life. And the reason I was thinking about that so much is because Steph and I just started a new chapter of our life. Uh, so I'm here in the French Riviera. So we are trying out the city of Nice for a while. Of course, going back and forth to Belize. But um, you know, it's different down here. Uh, than where we used to live. It's much different. And where we used to live was fantastic, beautiful, love the people, the culture, the food, the wine, the architecture, uh, the vibe of the place. But this place has a completely different vibe, right? This is, this is nothing like where we used to live. And we're having the opportunity to meet new friends, have new experiences, experience a, a different culture, a completely different, you know, sort of way of life here. And uh, to have this opportunity to start fresh even at the age of 52. So I'm 52 now, and uh, it feels like I'm a kid again, kind of like exploring. Uh, I'm looking at things differently. I'm experiencing th uh, things differently. Um, I just got this constant smile on my face because I just look around with wonder at this beautiful place that we have the privilege of living in. And so I guess the advice I would have to anybody looking at moving to Belize is do this, come down with an open mind, just ready to embrace your new life, all right? Embrace the language, um, embrace the culture, the food, the people, the time schedules. <laughs> they might not be <clears throat> what you're used to, you know, back home. Uh, things are going to take longer in Belize. There might be some frustrations that come with maybe some sort of seeming delays or paperwork issues, but you know what? You're gonna have that no matter where you live. So why not have those in a place where you're starting a new chapter? Use this as an opportunity to sort of you know, improve or expand on your personality, you know, make some needed changes, and also develop some new habits. So for example, down here, for some reason, I'm eating a lot more fruit and vegetables. I just find that they taste better here. Maybe it's the warm climate. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I'm eating more fruit, more vegetables, and I'm drinking more rosé wine, which usually I'm a red wine guy, but I'm drinking more rosé and some fresh whites just because they taste better here. Uh, and that's what you're gonna find in Belize too. When you go to Belize, you're gonna find your habits start to change. Uh, right now, I'm walking 20,000 steps a day. 20,000, usually, you know, back in the place we used to live, I would walk anywhere between eight and 12,000 steps a day. Well, here along the beach, 20,000 steps a day, I'm developing some new health routines. Sort of wanna optimize my physical performance and mental, emotional performance. And um, yeah, so listen, if you guys are looking to move to Belize or looking to invest in Belize real estate to make a return so you can go off and do fun things in the world, uh, create some memories and experiences with your friends and loved ones and just to enjoy life to the fullest, then um, hit me up, send me an email. If you want, you can buy me a coffee. If you do that, I appreciate it. And I'll jump on a Zoom call with you to see how we can get you into the market on Amherst Key. And heck, you know, maybe, you might even find yourself living there, enjoying the island life, enjoying something new, a new chapter. And I'll just conclude with this. You know what, so many people think that they have to make permanent decisions in life, where well, there is no real permanent decisions. Life is a, a constant circle of, you know, people coming in, people going out, um, things, you know, coming into your life, things going out of your life. It could be jobs, careers, money, real estate, whatever it might be. But just to, to come down and just enjoy it for the time that you have to enjoy it. You, know, you, you might stay there for a year, five years, 10 years, you might stay there 20 years or more, but during the time that you're in Belize or wherever you are in the world exploring, exploring uh, just enjoy the heck out of every day. As my good friend Dave says, every day is a gift. Totally agree with that. Hope you guys are enjoying this gift of your day. Take care, hope to see you in Belize real soon. Pursue the dream, it's worth it.